Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a new nail tutorial for you. I'm gonna show you how to create this pretty purple butterfly French tip design using poly gel. First, I'm going to remove my navy and gold set. I have a tutorial on this design if you're interested. Check out the links in my description box. This is a cutter plier thingy-majiggy that I stole from Alfred's toolbox. It works really well for removing stones and jewels. I'm going to save these two nail charms because they're still in good condition. Now I'm going to file off the gel colour using my Kiara Sky e-file and a ceramic bit. I'm going to file most of the product down but I'm going to leave the extensions because I can build up on that and do the French on top. So you can see it's quite thin here. Now if you have short natural nails, don't worry because I'll show you how to extend them using tips. Okay, so for my natural nail shorties out there, you're going to want to push back your cuticles first to remove any dead keratin from the nail plate. Then buff your nails just to de-shine them. You don't need to go hard with the buffer because this will thin out your nails even more. You just want to get rid of any shininess off the surface. Give it a quick dust and we're ready to stick on some tips. I'm using a clear tip from a Japanese brand called Mythos. You can use any clear tip that you have or you can find. I'm going to size up each nail, picking a tip that fits from side wall to side wall. With my tips, the smile line or curve here is very deep, so I'm going to cut them down a little. I also like to file down the thickness so that it will sit more flush once it's stuck on my nail plate. To stick them on, pop a little bit of nail glue just at the edge. You don't need a lot of glue. And then quickly stick it over the free edge of your nail. You want to press down quite firmly and then also press the sides to make sure that it's adhered correctly. Now I'm going to cut down the length of the extensions. Then I'll give them a quick shape and file. I'll file the surface to make it a little bit more rough so that when we apply the poly gel on top, it'll adhere better. Now for the fun part, I'm going to use this poly gel set from Marcart. It's their purple set. It comes with four poly gels, a slip solution, a file, a brush and spatula, base coat, top coat and jewel forms. We don't need the jewel forms today because we've already applied our tips. I'll quickly swatch the colors so you guys can see. So there's a clear and three different shades of purple. I'm also going to use two other color poly gels. These are like more nude colors. So one is a light pinky nude and the other one is slightly darker, but it's closer to my skin tone. For my left hand, I'm going to use these two colors. I'm going to use acetone to dehydrate my nails first to remove any oil and moisture off the nail plate, then apply the base coat. Thank you. 
Once the base coat is cured, I'm going to squeeze a small amount of the pinky nude poly gel to build up this area. It's really sticky, so I need to use a slip solution and my brush to shape the poly gel. You want to use a light patting motion to move the poly gel around. If it starts to get sticky, dip your brush into more solution. As for the shape, I'm keeping the gel thinnest towards my cuticle and the thickest part is at the edge. As for the shape, I'm going for a more elongated nail bed. So you can see it's extended past the pink part of my natural nails. I'm also making the smile line quite deep. You can do a softer curve if you like. It's entirely up to you. Now I'm happy with the shape, so I'm going to flash cure that for 30 seconds. Now looking at it from the side, I can see that I still need to apply a little bit more product at the edge so that I create a nice right angle wall for the purple gel to sit up against. We will be filing this to make the shape more perfect, but it's important to make sure you have enough product and thickness at the end. I'm going to repeat this with all five fingers and cure. Now I'm going to file the free edge and perfect the shape, making sure the smile line is even on both sides and that it's centered. Next, I'm going to apply the purple poly gel so that it covers the extension and meets the nail bed that we created. Make sure you have enough thickness that it matches the pink nude poly gel part. Don't worry if it overlaps the smile line because we can file it down later. After it's cured, I'm going to file and shape the nails. Then I'm going to finish off with some butterfly decals. That's looking really good so far, but you guys know that I tend to get a little bit extra when it comes to my nails. So for my thumb, I'm adding on some stones and I'm just securing that with some clear poly gel. Also, a lot of you guys ask me how do I wash my hair when I have all these like stones on my nails. 
I just make sure I cover all the corners with a thicker gel just to smooth out all those edges so it doesn't get caught on my hair as much. And then I'll just lock it all in with top coat. I'm going to fully cure that for 60 seconds and then apply some nourish oil around my cuticles. For my other hand, I wanted to show you guys what the other nude poly gel looks like. This one is close to my skin tone, so when my nails grow out, it won't be super obvious, but the smile line on it isn't as contrasty so it doesn't pop as much as the lighter color let me know which one do you guys like better that's it to this tutorial I hope you guys have enjoyed it if you're new here don't forget to click the subscribe button and remember to turn on notifications that is it from me I shall speak to you guys next time bye